Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yanta. The Prime Minister Street Vendors Atmanirpar Niti, PM Swaniti scheme has achieved a momentous milestone by extending its support to more than 50 lakh street vendors across the nation. Street vendors have long played an integral role in the urban informal economy, providing essential goods and services to urban residents. An initiative under the aegis of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, the scheme has been instrumental in bringing them into the formal economic fold, presenting fresh avenues for upward mobility. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision to broaden the scheme's reach has prompted concerted efforts towards its expansion. Around 64,000 people have taken the pledge to donate their organs under the Ayushman Pav campaign, which was launched last month at the national level. The campaign was implemented during the Seva Pagwara from the 17th of September to the 2nd of October this month. Union Health Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia has also registered himself for organ donation. Dr. Mandavia yesterday said that the Ayushman Pav campaign remained very successful and it received an overwhelming response from the people. All Nagaland School Teachers Association, Nagaland Government Higher Secondary School Employees Association and All Nagaland Government Higher Primary Teachers Association under School Education Department have decided to keep their agitation in a pains on the request of the Confederation of All Nagaland State Services Employees Association, Kansia. A press release from Kansia stated that a joint meeting was called on October 3 by the Confederation in the backdrop of the three organizations requesting for timely release of the salary to the teachers, whereas the principal director school department issued a notification on September 25, cautioning the employees about disciplinary rules as enshrined under Rule 25 of the Nagaland Government Servants Conduct Rules 1968. During the meeting, it was decided that Kansia would mediate with the concerned authorities and to settle the matter amicably at the earliest. Assam Rifles organized Mere Mati Mera Desh campaign with civil administration and collected Miti from Longwa village and further handed over to District Commissioner Mon. The event was in conjunction with Azadi Gambrit Mahotsav memorial to be constructed in New Delhi to honour the sacrifices made by brave hearts for freedom of the nation wherein Miti from all over India would be used to build a memorial. Advisor Urban Development and Municipal Affairs Jalio Rio inaugurated a City Kima Circle Sports Meet 2023 at Sovima Cricket Ground yesterday. The event is organized by ESC Sidikima office and 36 villages of Sidikima Circle, where 28 teams are participating in football for men and volleyball for women. Speaking at the inaugural function, Jalio said that Sidikima Circle is a home to not only one tribe, but a mixture of many Naga tribes, and organizing such sports meets is a step forward to get to know each other and make friendship. He said a sports meet is a great opportunity to showcase the talents and skills. Jalio appealed to the leaders and youths of the respective villages to identify the talent, a system to pave the way for talented youths. The government has paved the way for the sports persons with policy and schemes, academy and training centres where the sports persons should avail this opportunity, he added. Further, he encouraged the youths to follow the footsteps of the state's legendary Dr. Tiao and be committed to the field they have interest in. Jalio said to become a good sportsman, one needs to maintain discipline, commitment and courage to achieve great heights. Earlier, the ceremonial host, Sebastian Zumu, delivered the greetings with ESE Sidikema, Seye Kretyo Solo, welcoming the gathering. Re-examination of Electrical Engineering Degree and Diploma of CTSC Engineering Services 2023 will be held on 13th and 14th of this month. Nagaland Public Service Commission, NPSC, informed the candidates that Electrical Engineering Diploma will be held on 13th, followed by Electrical Engineering Degree on 14th October from NPSC Hall. The Commission said that candidates may use the same admission certificate. While candidates requiring assistance can call the NPSC Help Desk number 9402 
9885062 during working days from 10am to 3pm. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.